Hey guys, it's Yoon with the Air Zoo. It's been another fantastic day in our restoration center as we rotated our SPD-1 restoration the right way up. That's so we can put it on its wheels and be able to move it around so it can get soda blasted because this airframe has a lot of corrosion on it, a lot of dirt and silt and stones and stuff from Lake Michigan. So it needs a good clean out. So the guys are turning it around on the rotisserie here with the idea to drop the gear, put on the wheels, and call it a day. Every time you move this SPD, it just spews out a whole bunch of dirt from Lake Michigan. Even though this airframe has been out of Lake Michigan for over 20 years and has moved across the country, it still retains a lot of that Lake Michigan dirt, and it probably will always retain that. So you can see the guys here, they're removing the clamps on that main gear and we're going to use that forklift to bring the gear down. So the forklift's going to move down a little bit, shift a little bit, down a little bit, shift a little bit, just so the gear doesn't fling out, damage anybody or anything. This is a restoration. Things have to move slowly but surely. So just slowly does it. another two or three. Okay, shift to here. Okay, so here's that process again. sped up for you. Okay, with any luck. Okay, hold it. You're going to have to shift uh, quite a bit. Okay, good. Down again. Okay, shift again. And now it's time to move on to the other gear. So Bill's removing the clamps on this gear, and it's just going to be the exact same process. Nice and easy. Yeah, it's coming good. Oh, he's even got a camera. Look at that. That's sweet. Keep coming. Yeah, Ewan said it was dispensable. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> With the main gears down, it was time to attach the wheels. Now, if you're expecting some sort of NASCAR-esque quick tire change, you're going to be very disappointed. In fact, I think Dave, who is our forklift operator during this little uh, moment here, he calculated that we lost probably about seven laps, which I don't think is very good. So it's a restoration. We take our time. Right on the side. Right, it should be right on the side. With the main gears down, it's time to attach the tail wheel. <laughs> how, how long has that been on the shelf for? Oh, we put this together last Friday. Yeah, okay. Not too long then. To attach the tail wheel, we need to support the aircraft from the rear. So we put in this big metal <laughs> pole and then we're going to lift that with a forklift and that means we can remove the stinger we have at the back. You see that uh, little jack at the back there that's supporting the rear of the aircraft. We've got to get rid of that because that's where the tail wheel goes. So we lift up the rear of the aircraft with the forklift and then we're going to go and remove that stinger. With the airframe supported at the rear, we can now remove the so-called stinger and then we can attach that tail wheel to the SPD. So you can see the guys here talking about exactly where all the bits go and then they start assembling it. I didn't get much footage of the assembling process nor of them lowering the aircraft back on the ground because there was a lot of guests around that day and I wanted to give them a good time, tour them around the restoration center because I love showing off the great work our guys do. And there it is, the SPD-1 back on its gears, on its wheels. Fantastic. Next step is to get this thing soda blasted to try and get rid of that corrosion and clean the aircraft up a little bit. And yeah, really exciting stuff here at the Air Zoo's restoration department. If you want to stay tuned and stay informed about our restoration projects, then make sure you follow us on YouTube and social media to see more of our SPD-1 and FM2 Wildcat restorations. Or you can do one better and actually visit us at the Air Zoo. You can plan your visit today at airzoo.org slash plan your visit. I'll see you next time.